If your workspace account is suspended or you fear that it's suspended, it's a good idea to have a think about what some of your actions you may have taken on your workspace account. Reasons for a Google Workspace account being suspended. Now, there's a bunch of legitimate reasons for Google to suspend accounts, which I fully agree with. And there are some other reasons that I think are a little bit frustrating. The legitimate reasons are if you're sending masses of bulk emails from your account that look like spam, even if they technically aren't spam, large amounts of bulk email potentially going to raise red flags with Google. They have sending limits set up so that you don't mass mail, but is primarily person to person most of the time because it's just way too easy for people to exploit if Google leaves the door wide open for people to send as many emails as they want to. Now, what else might cause you to get an account suspended? If you've got explicit content, if Google thinks there's something illegal in there, if you don't pay your bill, they may suspend an account if you've got a malicious third-party plugin that was connected to your account and started siphoning data or scamming people or Google sees that your password has been leaked online, it may choose to lock down the account until you change your password just for your own safety and your own precaution. So many reasons Google might switch off your account. Try not to do anything silly. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this. Click the link below to get started.